Thank you for tuning in to another Race Grooves unboxing video. Here we have a Hot Wheels J case assortment, late April 2015. Now this is the international cases, so it will not have this new for 2015. These are uh, multi-language, so that they can be sold in multiple countries. And the packaging will be different if you're in an English-speaking country. You will not get the um, that logo. How many cases I unboxed, and today all of a sudden uh, got a little problem. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's a new color. Here we have the 83 Chevy Silverado. 69 Chevelle. Hey, that's back. It's been a while since we've seen that guy. It's a track ace. Good car for the boosters. Clear speeder. Second colorway of clear speeder. See a motorcycle. Let's see what do we have here. Hey, Harley Davidson Fat Boy. Been a while since we have that one in the mix. Uh, how many colors? I think there's only been a, one or two colors. Actually, one, but uh, I don't remember if there was a recolor of the Fat Boy or not a few years ago. 68 Copo Camaro. Got a pretty wild tampos all over the top and the sides. No tampos on the uh, front or the rear of the model, though. Porsche 911 GT3 RS, beautiful red color. This Porsche has a tampoed headlights. So there's a Porsche that has uh, inserts. I think that's kind of neat to have the inserts. 15 Ford F-150. This was already in the previous cases. Here we have MIG rig track car Mazda RX-7 this guy's been in the cases already it's not a new appearance you always have a uh, carryovers from month to month this way you get a chance if you missed it one month you get a chance at another here you have a brand new model ice shredder this is the very first appearance of it in the cases check it out it's like a little uh, toboggan what are they is that what they call them the uh, ice uh, I have to think about that for a while bobsledding there you go I had to think of the movie, Jamaican Bob Slitters. <laughs> hey, that's pretty fun. Look at that. There's his, uh, he, uh, maybe that's where he kicks out, right? They go running as they go down the, down the uh, chute. Four guys squished in there. Little wheels. I wonder if it, I doubt if it'd be a track car. No track designation. Definitely not going to work in the boosters because it's got these big open sides here. But even rolling on the track, it's got these tiny wheels. It makes sense as a vehicle because, you know, for the bobsled, they got the, there's, it, it would be proper for it to be smaller instead of big wheels. 71 Dodge Challenger, and there's a second piece of the ice shredder. Here we have Camaro Convertible Concept. I think this is from the uh, Then and Now series. There's another one. Just last month there was a, yeah, see, then and now. So you'll find another Camaro. I think it's the Camaro 69 Camaro convertible. That is the sister part, sister car in that series. Five alarm in green. Winning formula. Morris Mini. Is it still a pop-off? Uh, nope, no hatch. That's the model that has that used to be a pop-off, isn't it? Where you can uh, pop the body off. BMW E36 M3 Race. Several of those. Another color for Backdrafter. Fun stuff. Dodge Challenger Concept. Great color presentation. 68 on the side and on the hood. And for those of you who don't know, if they use 68, it's kind of a throwback to Hot Wheels. They were started in 1968. And so that's why you'll see that number on the on models quite often. Nice little uh, color for Invader. Unfortunately, uh, no longer uh, uh, two wheels in the back or the front. Front. You should have two wheels in the front. Look, they didn't even change the base. That's where the, it looks like that's where the 
That's where the other wheel might go. I wonder if it still has the thing inside where the wheel would be crimped in. Super Stinger! Pass and Gasser. Clear Speeder. Those were out previously. Another Batmobile, thank you very much. Chill Mill! Thanks for everybody commenting on the last video that they still get uh, milk delivered or milk is available in uh, these types of bottles internationally. I think people are telling me in the UK. Batmobile, Chill Mill, fun little model. Hey, 65 Ford Ranchero. I'm glad that these two are right in the case side by side so I can compare the two. Speed Slayer, nice color. I'm going to hold these for a second. Take a look at the tampos on the top. It's always interesting to me because it's a little bit short. Is the Ranchero 65 Ford Ranchero, would it be that much shorter than the 71 El Camino in real life? Someone has a chance, uh, look it up for me so I can find out. There's, a uh, wow, flames all over the place on this guy. Nice to see him back. Plastic base, I'm sure. Yeah. Heat fleet. No wonder he's got flames all over the place. RD06. Couple of the chrome, gold chrome pieces. Eight crate. This guy's interesting. Not a good roller. Well, the ones that I used to have when I was doing parties, I tried to do, I would have uh, various cars in the party tray for the kids to race. And eight crate, I can never, eight crate, I can never get to uh, roll very good. Sometimes it wouldn't even make it to the end of the track. Wow, that's, that, check it out, Rig Storm. Got a clear body. We call that X Racer because a long time ago they had series called uh, X Racers. Because at X-ray, you can look right through the body. Looks like he looks like he's got glowing parts all over the place. And yeah, he should look night storm. So when you get this guy here, he's gonna glow in the dark. Maybe I'll maybe I'll have a peek at him in a second at the end of the video, see if I can get him to show up. Hoover storm. I think people were telling me in the comments that it's supposed to be Hoover. Or did I accidentally say Hoover and it's supposed to be Hoover? Uh, if I mispronounced it, I forgot to go back and watch the video. But uh Hoover Storm. Speed Trap's back. That's kind of like a police vehicle. Speed Trap. Got a couple pieces of that one in this case. By the way, your case mixes might vary. Lamborghini Urus. Got a license plate. Headlights. Very simple. That's the second one. The first edition, when it first came out, was red. See, look, this one has got, uh, you can see the light bar on top. This is, a, this is a very good track car, I'll tell you that right now. It works fantastic in the boosters, loops, and curves. Good for the downhill. Here's a brand new model, Snow Stormer. It's not going to stay on the package. Snow Stormer. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting casting, huh? Looks like it'd be fun. Got wheels here instead of, uh, which it probably would look like it would have treads in uh, if it was a real, mo real vehicle. Uh, I think Noah, Noah found one without seats in the middle, and it didn't have the red trim. That was a pretty nice error find that uh, Noah had there. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to this one. Loopster. Check it out. It's like a little roller coaster. And look, you got hooks. You got a vertical hook in the back, and then in the front... You got a horizontal hook so that means you're going to be able to buy two of these and hook them together make yourself a whole little roller coaster not only that i've seen pictures on mattel's sites where there's variations where the guy in the back's got his hands up so it looks like we'll be able to have a different interiors i had suggested that to a mattel rep i was talking to miguel and said why don't they come up with interior variations and kind of make it fun for people who like to collect and maybe Maybe it's finally going to come to fruition. Custom 12 Ford Mustang. Yeah, this, this is going to be a popular car, I think. People like the uh, tampo, the colorway. Oh, here we go. 
This is probably the one that's going to be the most popular out of the case, except for uh, the Super, of course. Fast and Furious. Here we have the 74 Ford S Escort RS 1600. Yep. This, this one's uh, prominent in the poster in the movie, I hear. Hey, we got the plastic. Whoa, wait a second. I'm, I'll look at this in a second. Hold on. And there's a recolor of Night Dragon. Let's check out that. Uh, they can't be inserts. Mattel wouldn't uh, put inserts on a dollar car. It's got to be the interior. It's got to be the window coming through to make those headlights. Very nice. What do you think of that? that look good? Or does it look uh, wonky to you guys? I like it. I like the color. I like the shape of the casting. Beautiful car. What a nice release. 68 Mercury Cougar. Couple of samples. I'm pretty sure this, this was in the last case as well. Ducati 1199 Panigale. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. That's how I'm going to say it. <laughs> Sorry. Next. Oh, my stack's going to fall over. My stack is teetering over here. 15 Ford F-150, another one in the case. Surf Crate is back. Nice to see you back again. When it first came out a long, long time ago, it, it, the surfboard was, uh, you could pull it out. But now that you can see it's white, same color as the interior. So that's uh, all one piece now. Nice to see you back. I don't get too many because it, it, it's an open wheeler for me. But uh, it's nice to have another. It's been quite a while since there's been a release. Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. Nope. Tampoed headlights. It looks like, yep, tampoed headlights. 70 Chevelle. When you see this uh, in person, it's like a satin paint job. Nice to see this being used again. Seems like it's been a little while since we've had one with a satin paint job. Very nice. What do we got left? Not a whole lot. 12 cars left. If you didn't get the Corvette C7R in the H case, now it's back. By the way, Mattel skips I, so it goes from H to I. And this one was also in the last mix. Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. They don't use the letter I in their case codes, and they don't use the letter O. Batmobile. Couple of them. Looks pretty good. To change it up a little bit, put a little bit of uh, tampos on there. This is from Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Power Pistons. This was in the last mix as well. Fantastic track car. Looks like it's got those glow in the dark wheels. Night Storm. Yep. In the dark wheels. E McLaren P1 in silver carrying over from the H to the J cases. I'm sure you guys are going to want to pick that up. RD08. Hmm, I'm going to have to go back through. I don't know. I didn't notice a circle flame logo. I'm going to have to go back through the case, see if I can find one. Then we got the Lamborghini. Oh, somebody told me to. Urukan. LP 610 4. Torque Twister. Hey, we got a couple of cars coming back. Haven't seen in a long time. It looks like it's in the sports series. I see a basketball right there. What do they call this series? HW All Stars. Okay, let me uh, let me go back through and see if I can find a uh, treasure hunt. Definitely was not a super. I would have noticed that right away. And let me see if I. I knew that was going to happen. It was leaning. It was leaning already. Let me turn on. Let me turn off my lights. Let me charge it up a little bit. I'm going to turn off my lights real quick. And then let's see Let's see how much this glows. She's got a lot of, she has a lot of parts there to glow, that's for sure. One, two. I got lots of lights. Oh, no, it's daytime. Might not be able to get dark enough. Oh, yeah, you can see them glow. Okay, I'm going to go back to my pile and see if I find anything else uh, in particular. I went through the whole case, didn't find any errors. The treasure hunt for the J case assortment is scheduled to be the Enforcer. 
you can see the circle flame logo behind the rear tire on the left there as far as the super treasure hunt in this assortment eight crate is going to be the super that's not the one that i have in front of my hand you're going to look for a superized version of this release right here overall pretty good stuff in the case it was fun to see loopster in the mix by the way here is mattel's image showing one of the guys will have his hands in the air now i don't know if that's how rare it's going to be i have no idea i just opened the case right in front of you guys so it's a fun little model uh, i'll check out how they hook together later on snowstormer was also a new release in this case as well as ice shredder was brand new to the case but i think treasure hunt uh, except for the super uh, i think that the case this one's going to be the star of the case right here 74 escort rs 1600 yep happy hunting everybody have fun with your toys bye bye